new at six tonight on your news leader. What could be a break in the 19 year old case of a missing Stanton, Tennessee man? A cadaver dog has indicated that there are possible human remains at a site two and a half miles north of where Freddie Whitmore lived. WRG's Mike Suriani reports investigators in Haywood County believe if the man is there, his death was no accident. Freddie Whittemore lived here on Cherry Street in Stanton. The last time he was seen alive was June 19th, 2005. He'd gone for a walk with his dog. Later, his dog returned, but Whittemore did not. I just want to bring him home. It has been a long and painful journey for the family of Freddie Whittemore, who was 72 years old when reported missing 19 years ago. Now, Haywood County investigators believe the man's remains may be on this small piece of land north of Stanton. Bittersweet news for Whittemore's family. We want some closure. Um, we're, we're hoping that this is, it's a, a sad and a bad thing to think about, but we're hoping it's... I hate to say it, but we hope his daddy will we want to bring him home. The case of the missing Stanton man has been reopened after one of Whittemore's daughters contacted Haywood County. And she said she had received a call from an individual who used to live in Stanton who said that he may have some information on about where her dad is. That phone call led investigators to question two men with information that Whittemore is buried here, a spot on Highway 179 that used to be a dump site. A cadaver dog from the Shelby County Sheriff's Office was brought in. The dog indicated on some, some land there at the location where uh, the tipster said the body was buried suggesting this has now gone far beyond the case of a missing person. Something happened uh, that caused Mr. Whittemore's death and that the people involved in that decided to try to hide the body. For your news leader in Haywood County, Mike Suriani, WREG News Channel 3. And Sheriff Garrett tells WREG a forensic team from Memphis is expected at the site within the next few days to determine if human remains have been found.